good morning students see yesterday we have discussed about the uses of metals so now today in this period we will see uses of non metals okay uh, see yesterday one homework i have given you that you just have to write some uses of a different metals maybe that homework you have completed so see here the first non metal is oxygen see the non metals important to us are oxygen nitrogen hydrogen carbon iodine chlorine etc okay these are some non metals which are important now what dates okay means this is the common non metals regularly we are using that so the first non metal is oxygen okay now see oxygen is a very essential for us now for which purpose oxygen oxygen is essential for breathing purpose for respiration okay all the living things they need oxygen for respiration respiration process so it is very important so this is the use of oxygen as well as oxygen is used for the combustion process now combustion means what see anything which you want to uh, uh, see for example uh, you take one candle okay and burn it then candle will burn okay now how this candle burn because oxygen which is present surrounded by a candle that helps to burn a candle so anything if you want to burn it then for that you need a oxygen because oxygen shows the property it helps to burn okay oxygen helps for burning see so many times we have performed one experiment that is two candles okay in one candle it is continuously it is burning but in another candle if you will put inverted glass then after some time the candle will be extinguished why because that candle is not getting oxygen and for that purpose the candle extinguish okay so oxygen is help for burning so that is only known as a combustion it is important for combustion process okay now see the next non metal is a nitrogen see nitrogen is essential for us also but the atmospheric nitrogen means the nitrogen is present in our surrounding that directly nitrogen we are not using okay then plants are doing nitrogen fixation and when we are eating the fruits and vegetables from that we will get we are getting a nitrogen then what is the use of nitrogen see most of mostly it is used for the fertilizers see here used for the producing compounds which are used as a fertilizer like urea okay urea means for fertilizer nitrogen is used and these fertilizers are helpful for the growing plants that you all know okay now see the next it is a carbon carbon in a chemistry if you will go in a detail about the chemistry in chemistry carbon is very important okay so many compounds are made from a carbon uh, when you will go in higher classes that time you will learn only in organic chemistry also okay see the carbon it is mainly occur as coal graphite and diamond now see in eighth standard also how coal what is the uses of coal coal products so many things are there when you will go in the higher classes you will learn about that okay related to carbon now see the next non metal is iodine 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 is to make a tincture iodine and iodics which are used as a antiseptic and pain reliever see sometimes what happen our hand is penny okay so what we are using we are using a iodics so when they prepare a iodics so that time they are using the iodine tincture 
okay means iodine powder and they mix uh, alcohol and then they prepare a iodine tincture and it used to prepare iodex okay this is some extra information for you then see next non metal is a chlorine see this you know that chlorine tablets when we use a chlorine tablets for the chlorination of water means what whenever we are using the chlorine tablets it helps to kill germs so that is also very important use of a chlorine as well as it is used as a bleaching agent for rough and hard fiber okay this is also one use of a chlorine see chlorine powder also it, uh, we are getting okay so that powder we use for the bleaching purpose and it is used as a disinfectant for the sterilizing both drinking water and in a swimming pool water also means it it help to kill germs so these are some uses of non metals okay so this these are the common uses that is oxygen nitrogen carbon iodine and chlorine these are non metals and these are the uses of non metals now after this period what you just write the all information in your chemistry notebook okay and if you have any doubt regarding any point you can contact to me here i return only five non metals uses but if, if whenever you are reading another textbook if you will get any extra information related to the same point just write down in your chemistry notebook okay so now here our lesson is a uh, completed means what it is a uh, actually in this lesson some chemical properties also there for for your class that chemical properties we are not going to learn when you will go in higher classes that time we will learn about the chemical properties but what are the physical properties that is important for you and uses of metals and non metals okay and see one more point that only for the introduction part you should know that is a metalloids okay now metalloids means what metalloids be means they shows both the properties means uh, the metals properties also and non metal properties also they are known as a metalloids okay so today here whatever the points which are important for you in this lesson that all points completed if you have any doubt related to this lesson you contact to me in the next period uh, we will revise this some point some lessons and then one test i am going to conduct for this lesson and then we will start our next schedule okay read carefully this lesson because these all the points are new for you and while reading if you will get any difficulties any question on the same time you ask me then your doubt will be clear so now i will stop here thank you